Hello everyone, it's Jess and welcome back to my channel. Happy March 1st. For today's Collective Energy Timeless card message, I'll be using, yet again, the Healing Waters Oracle by Rebecca Campbell. And there's a front of that box cover now. Off camera, as I always do, I'm cutting and shuffling my decks. And now we're just releasing any negative energy that still may be attached to the deck. Divine guidance. Oh, oh we lost it there. My goodness gracious, we lost it. Pardon me. Let's try that again, spirit. All right, spirit, spirit, spirit. What is the most important message for us today for those that need to receive it? Collective. Whenever we find it, it is meant for us. And this one's popping up, so we're going to take it. Ooh, what a beautiful card. Look at that imagery on the card. How you resonate with that. Very beautiful. I love the cards in this deck. Just a muted color palette, just really a gentle imagery to focus on here. The well maidens, kindness, respect, reverence, compassion. That is the energy of this card here. Let's get into the booklet here and see what Rebecca had in mind when she created this card, all right? She spent a lot of time creating the images on the cards, the meanings that go on the cards, but also the booklet message. So these are not my words, friends. I'm merely the messenger reading this aloud. If anything additional I might add would come from my own personal life experience as a human being on the planet this time around, which may never resonate with you at all. We all leave, live and lead different lives for a reason, for purposes, all right? So take what resonates and leave the rest. And certainly if I would receive some type of intuitive download i will bring that forward it doesn't always happen in every single video and i don't force it nor do i make that stuff up so let's get into it throughout history there have been people who have tended to and protected our life-giving wells in the lands of what is today the united kingdom and europe many of these sacred wells were named after goddesses including bridget danu Solace, Anu, before they were absorbed by Christianity. If you sit at these wells, you may feel the wisdom of these ancient peoples echoing on in these waters which remain protected. The elucidation is an old poem that tells of guardians who fulfilled this holy role across the land. A greedy king and his men violated the well maidens. The, guard, the guardians of the kingdom's wells and took more than they needed. They ignored the sacred contract of respecting the well maidens and the waters of the sacred wells. And as a result, the kingdom became desolate and barren. The well maidens are the keepers of harmony and balance. They respect the sacred waters. And as a result, they give plenty. They deliver a message about the importance of these qualities in the way we treat ourselves, others, and the nature that sustains and supports us. They remind us to slow down and offer kindness and respect to others, the earth, and ourselves each and every day. Soul inquiry. How can you offer kindness and respect to yourself, the earth, and others today? Wow. That's a powerful message indeed, right? How can you respect and show kindness to yourself and others, all right? Showing yourself love really does start in areas like self-care, okay? And whatever those areas are for you, everybody approaches self-care differently, thinks certain activities are self-care and others are not. So that's a really individual thing okay and what practices that you indeed believe are self-care right but how can you treat others with respect and love and kindness today how can you respect and love and be kind to mother earth all right what things come to mind that you could do in your community all right could you clean trash off the roads, all right? Could you 
decide that you were no longer going to use plastic anymore at the grocery store? Could you offer up some other kind of help, all right? Some kind of restoration project, all right? I am getting planting trees, okay? Maybe that's something for somebody here that they plant trees to restore the balance of the world, all right? The balance of the green. Because we know that as humans, we do consume, we do cut down a lot of trees. So those that are in the position to replant trees for that cycle to begin again, you are doing your part, okay? For helping the world, for helping show kindness to the world. And how can you show kindness to others? Kindness to others doesn't have to be some big major event, okay? It can be as simple as holding the door for a stranger, as paying for a stranger's coffee that's behind you, right? Paying it forward, as it were. It could be giving compliments to people that are, you know, either strangers or people you know, it doesn't matter, right? Brightening their day in that way, okay? Lifting the spirits, showing up as yourself in a high vibratory state of positivity to the work group, all right? And remaining a high vibratory state individual that people always know that you're consistent, you're positive, even when things come up at work that are frustrating, that are difficult, they can count on you to have a positive outlook, all right? That shows other people kindness, all right? In little ways, okay? Being dependable, all right? To others when they need you. That is the kind thing to do, all right? And, and not necessarily, you know, and, and, and this is coming up, knowing the difference between being nice and being kind right? And I would invite you to go look at the difference of that, all right? You could look it up in the dictionary, do some type of internet search on that. But you can be a nice, you can be nice to people, but that doesn't necessarily make you kind, all right? There's a difference in that, all right? Being nice is kind of that action, all right? So a, a person that doesn't necessarily have the right intentions can be nice in a situation that might benefit them, if that makes sense. But an individual that is kind and kind hearted and has compassion for others may make a nice gesture, but it's coming from such a wonderful and beautiful place with no agendas, okay? And I don't know why that's coming up today. Maybe somebody is working with somebody in a work group that appears to use niceties to get their way, all right? But they're not really this kind-hearted individual, okay? So recognizing the difference in that as well, okay? And to lead with kindness rather than just being nice because you have to be, okay? What a powerful message here today about kindness, respect, reverence, compassion. What are those words? When I read those words aloud, how does it make you feel? Okay. And just because somebody might, you know, treat you in a way doesn't mean that you need to mirror that. Okay. You get to choose. You get to decide how you want to reply and respond to how people treat you. And remember also that people typically treat you based on how they feel on the inside, not only about themselves, but about a certain situation. So a lot of times it really has nothing to do with you when they react maybe in a negative way or maybe in a way that's manipulative, okay? That's coming through here, certainly. Maybe that'll resonate with some of you today in a certain work environment or a family environment. It could certainly be 
you know, recognizing that people do have motives with their niceties, okay? And not always to trust what individuals are putting out there because of past experience and to really take in that past experience and remember that this person might be playing you, okay? With their niceties. That is coming through here a little bit for a, a kind of a, I don't want to call it a warning message, but just a, an alert that please consider the source when it comes through um, when they're acting nice to you, thinking, oh, what are they, what are they really after here? What is the motive? Okay. It's important to have a high vibratory state of positivity. And you can think about what am I supposed to be learning in this instance of this, you know, wh not why is this happening to me, but what am I supposed to be learning when I'm, you know, having somebody come into my life that is more manipulative and uses niceties to get their way and, you know, to address their agenda. So let's approach things from a kindness perspective, a kind hearted perspective. Okay. Interesting read today little kind of all over the place, but those that are meant to receive it, you'll understand. It'll make sense for you. And I really do know that those that need to receive it will. So I'm going to let it be as it is here. And I thank you so much for coming back to me the way that you do. I appreciate you, every single one of you. I hope you have a beautiful day. Put your best foot forward. Be the best human you can be and lead with kindness and high vibratory states of positivity. Have a beautiful first day of March, and join me again for yet another collective energy message. Bye-bye.